It's always a pleasure for me to be a part of this event. The talent nurtured in our state is always inspiring. And this year's class is true to form. Once again, a remarkable group of individuals. And on that note, it is my honor to present more of this year's historical inductees. As a Hall of Fame member, I'm going to pull rank and spend a few seconds on the last historical inductee, as he is from a world near and dear to my heart. We're talking about Baseball Hall of Famer, Monty Irvin. Monty started playing as a pro in 1938 with the Newark Eagles of the Negro National League. He was a four-time All-Star in that league, including a two-time batting champion, consistently hitting around 400. In 1949, he joined the Giants eventually playing with Hank Thompson and Willie Mays to form the first all-black outfield in the major leagues. He played for six years with the Giants, including being named an All-Star in 1952 and winning a World Series title in 1954. A back injury led to his retirement and he eventually joined the commissioner's office as the first black executive in the majors. And in 2010, the San Francisco Giants officially retired his number 20 uniform. On behalf of the Irvin family, I want to thank the New Jersey Hall of Fame for including my father in the class of 2021 inductees. This is such a special honor to be recognized and rewarded by the state he lived in and dearly loved. This recognition is bestowed upon a man who is still receiving honors and accolades even though he is no longer with us. He was with us in 2006 when Essex County renamed this park Monte Irvin Orange Park. Let me tell you, he was thrilled. I'm confident he would have been equally thrilled in 2016 when this statue was unveiled and dedicated to his memory and legacy. My dad was a hero to many, but a personal hero to me. A humble, inspiring man who brightened the lives of many with his magnetic personality, kilowatt smile, and of course, tremendous athletic prowess. He was a man who was comfortable with everyone, from the average Joe to the five United States presidents he met along his journey. He treated everyone with respect and dignity, no matter their station in life. He loved his fans, his Newark Eagles, his New York Giants. Needless to say, he would be so very proud and yes, thrilled at this latest honor, as am I. Again, thank you to the New Jersey Hall of Fame on behalf of the family of Monty Irvin.